Okay, so this video, I'm gonna go over uh, what carbs to eat, basically. So, whenever we eat carbs, right, uh, the big thing is, you know, a lot of people don't know if carbs are good or bad. Well, they can be bad if you have too much and too much of the wrong kind of carbs. So, that's when I'm gonna try and give you a little bit of an idea on what carbs to eat and kind of why we're doing that uh, just a little bit. So, this is basically an order on what carbs to start eating. So number one is your vegetables, number two, fruits, and then number three are your dense carbs. So your vegetables, uh, you, you should probably know a little bit about that. Um, on my food chart, you'll see all this broken down uh, as well. But vegetables, you know, broccoli, asparagus, um, you know, just onions, whatever kind of thing. And then fruits, you know, strawberries, apples, things like that. And then your dense carbs are basically gonna be like corn tortillas, um, rice, sweet potato, potatoes, things like that are gonna be more in the dense carbs area, all right? So why are we eating more vegetables? Uh, why do we wanna eat that majority of the time? Well, that's because uh, basically, it's either, I have to look at it again, but I um, wish I remembered it. It's like a thermal effect or I don't know, whatever it is, thermic something, whatever. Um, I'll be sure to try and put that in there, but there's basically an effect that it has. So whenever you eat things that are more solid and dense, uh, kind of, and harder to break down, basically, harder for your body to break down, basically, um, it's actually gonna benefit you more to do to eat those things. Because if you eat something like broccoli, right, that's hard, dense, solid, you know, it's hard to break down, it's low in calories, it's low in carbs, you can eat a ton of it, and you won't gain any weight because it is really hard to overeat broccoli. But whenever it is more solid and dense, and things like that, your body is actually gonna use calories and carbs that are in that food to break it down. So let's say you have you know, a cup of broccoli and let's say a cup of broccoli is 100 calories, right? Well, since broccoli is solid and it's very difficult for your body to break down and it's not, you know, kind of like mushy or anything, your body's probably gonna use, it's gonna use about five to 10% of those calories, all right? So if it's using 10%, so it's gonna use like what, 90 or whatever 10% is of that, um, but it's gonna use 10%, so 10 calories or whatever, and then you know some carbs in there. So if you have that, well now you're consuming only 90 calories and not 100. All right, so your body's using 10 calories to break down the broccoli you just ate. So rather than consuming all 100 calories of that broccoli, you're now only consuming 90, all right? So that's kind of the small benefit of it as well. Um, fruits is gonna be a little bit less because they're not as solid or anything like that. And then your dense carbs like potatoes and rice and things like that, that's gonna be closer to zero on the uh, effect of things. So whenever you have, you know, 100 calories worth of rice, well, your body's probably gonna consume about 100 calories worth of rice because it's gonna take zero time for your body to break it down. Um, it's just gonna go straight into uh, basically your bloodstream and then your muscles, things like that. And then, you know, once those are overflowed, it'll go and turn into fat. So uh, that's basically why we wanna stick to more vegetable-based things because it's lower in calories, uh, it's lower in carbs, and then it also requires your body to work harder to break it down, all right? So, next thing, fruits. You know, we wanna stick to things that are more fruit-based, all right, because, you know, same thing with vegetables, these two have higher fiber content. I mean, dense carbs have fiber in it too. Um, they have a little bit higher fiber content, but these are also less caloric than dense carbs. And then this uh, effect is a little bit more so, you know, this is probably around five to 10%. Fruits are probably, I don't know, three to like 8%, depending on what fruits you have, all right, basically. Um, and then this is also more natural sugars, all right? So uh, whenever you eat something like an apple or a banana or something like that, it does contain sugar. It's just very easy carbs for your body to consume and take up but it's more natural sugar, so you're not getting a ton of um, kind of that bad bad sugar that we don't want from processed foods, all right? So that would be the reason why we wanna to stick to fruits next. 
And then your dense carbs, these are time, best time to eat more of your dense carbs is gonna be uh, kind of around your workout because whenever you work out and you power and you move and all that kind of stuff, uh, you do high intensity types of exercise or whatever it is, you know, you start squatting, all that kind of stuff, well your body's gonna use carbs first as the first form of energy and then you know, your dense carbs, since it's easy for your body to digest and move back into your system, this is whenever you want to eat it because it will turn into sugar, it will go right into your blood glucose and your glycogen stores, and then from there, as those levels go back up, then it will start pouring into your fat. But pretty much whenever you, after you work out, this would be the time to eat more of those, you know, beans, uh, tortillas, like corn tortilla and then you know rice and potatoes and things like that um, that would be a better time to have it you still don't want to do too much of these all right if you're trying to lose body fat and lose weight and that kind of stuff you're gonna sit more in these two zones all right those two types of foods uh, preferably more here than fruits but you know it's fine if you do half and half kind of thing um, I would say if you're trying to lose weight you should have this maybe once a day. So if you plan on having, you know, rice, chicken, and broccoli or something like that, or whatever it is, um, stick to having that rice only one time a day. And then once you start losing more and more body fat and weight and that kind of stuff, that's whenever you can kind of increase the amount of dense carbs you consume.